In this video tutorial, okay, we will be conducting another study in SOLIDWORKS simulation called buckling analysis. So uh, buckling analysis is very important okay, in checking whether your structure will collapse okay, under its own design, okay, not uh, way before the material fails. Okay, so once again, if I want to do the study, make sure your SOLIDWORKS simulation add-in is turned on. Okay, so let's create a new study. Okay, and this time around, I will select buckling. Okay, and maybe just give it a name. Let's call it buckling and hit OK. okay so once again, if we have set up previous studies, we can copy and paste the different fixtures and uh, external loads okay, into our new uh, study. So let me just paste this here. Okay, and I go to the external loads folder copy and paste it here okay there you go okay so this is a very simple study once you have set this up all we need to do is just do a mesh and run now one thing to note about buckling analysis is uh, well, they will, cal they will be calculating for you this thing called the BLF value. Okay, so the BLF value is the buckling load factor. So uh, just to take note, is if the buckling load factor is between 0 and 1, okay, that means buckling will occur. And if the BLF value is equal to 1, buckling will occur as well. Okay, so just to take note. All right. So there you go. Okay, the study has been completed. Okay, so where do we find out what the buckling load factor is? Okay, so we just go to the results folder, right click on it, and select list buckling load factors. Click on it. And for this design, okay, the buckling load factor is 1.584. Okay, that means uh, buckling will not occur in this design. So there you go. Okay, we have completed this series of uh, tutorials. Okay, on building a wellman structure and running analysis, which uh, I think can be very useful in the in the national earthquake competition. Thank you for your time.